Hi, welcome to safety. Today we are looking at the parts of the fire extinguisher and their function. The fold that, um, how does the fire extinguisher work? Inside the fire extinguisher is a material that has to come out and be able to put out the fire. Fire extinguishers come in different types. In this particular case, we have for a dry uh, dry chemical powder fire extinguisher or DCP. Uh, the name of the chemical in this particular case is monoammonium phosphate, MAP, monoammonium phosphate. Uh, so, what are the parts of the fire extinguisher? The first one is the red item, it's called the cylinder. The purpose of the cylinder is to keep the material which puts out the fire. In this case, it's the dry chemical powder. So the dry chemical powder is inside. It's white in color, it looks like a baby powder. So that powder has to be pushed out. And how do you push? You need a pressure or a gas that should be able to push. In this case, it's nitrogen gas. We do not use um, air, simply because in air there's oxygen and oxygen supports um, combustion and supports the fire. So to know that the fire extinguisher is pressurized, you need a pressure gauge. So this is a pressure gauge, a pressure gauge that shows that uh, there is enough pressure in the cylinder. Then you have uh, the pin. This is a pin. Uh, the purpose of the pin is to lock, uh, to prevent accidental uh, discharge. When the, the pin is engaged, you cannot uh, uh, discharge the material inside. So for you to discharge, you need to remove the pin. So that's the purpose of the pin, to prevent accidental discharge. Then this is the handle. The purpose of the handle is for lifting the fire extinguisher as you carry it from one point to another. The top part is the lever. It's basically the, the switch to open in order for the chemical to come out. This is a hose and at the end you have a nozzle. So the chemical comes out through the hose to the nozzle and finally to the fire. So the purpose of the hose is basically to direct the, the powder uh, where you want it to go. So those are the parts of the fire extinguisher. Apart from that, you also find a label. Um, the label gives you a lot of technical information. Uh, in this case, it tells you the types of fires that this fire extinguisher can put out. Uh, it also gives you the rating of the fire extinguisher. So in this case, this fire extinguisher can put out class A, class B, and class C fires. We will not go into detail of what that means for today. Uh, then it also goes in much detail for class A fire. In this particular fire extinguisher is rated 27A, the size of the fire that it can handle. Then uh, class B is 144B and that also tells you how big the fire, uh, this fire extinguisher can put out. You also find instructions on how to use the fire extinguisher. I'll not get into detail for today. It also gives you the information about the pressure or that is inside the fire extinguisher and the weight of the fire extinguisher. The, um, when it's empty, the cylinder itself or the fire extinguisher weighs 3.26 kg. Uh, then the charge or the chemical inside weighs 9 kg. When you combine the two, the total weight is 12.26 kg. So this fire extinguisher is dry chemical powder fire extinguisher, a 9 kg fire extinguisher. Then of course you find um, the uh, standards that uh, the, 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 the fire extinguisher complies with. In this case, we have SNNS uh, 1910. That's one of the standards that it complies with. 
So that is that for today. If you turn behind, you will see, uh, there's a hook. It's a hook for holding the fire extinguisher. So basically, those are the parts of the fire extinguisher. Thank you so much for joining us today. Stay safe.